Hi guys, my name is Tastic here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to download Minecraft maps. So I have loaded up my Minecraft just to show you what I have downloaded. So I've got Cops and Robbers, TNT Wars, Cops and Robbers, Infernal Creeper Maze. So a bunch of cool maps, and I'm going to be showing you how to download them. So I'll give you a good look of what I've got here. So you're going to want to close your minecraft down make sure that's out turned off done and then you want to go to your internet and look look up this here there may be some other um, better websites but um yeah i was just trying to download a map a second ago uh didn't really work out but and then i watched something and i know so now it will take you to this place here and you get all of these here so once you go here, you scroll down until you find the map you want. I reckon run f for the hills looks sounds pretty good. So you can even get a couple of pictures of what it looks like. These here are just a bunch of other maps. So you can see there, there, there. Right, so you want to click on its name there. And then once you get to here, you go download now. And um, don't worry, this here will not do anything to your computer. So it will say um, your download will begin in three seconds. It may take a bit longer, about five seconds. And then you want to go to save as. And let's go to downloads. And run for the hills. And we'll save it in there. I was trying to download this here before. Open. Run for the hills. Now you want to right click. This here is a Windows 8.1. Just letting you know. You want to click on there and click run. And you want to do percentage app data percentage. And then you click OK. And it will take you here. You want to click on dot Minecraft. And then you want to go to your saves folder. If you don't have a saves folder. That's okay, you can just make a new folder, but make sure it says saves or nothing will work. And then you log in here, and you just look, see, okay, nothing's there. And then you go here, grab that folder, and drag it in there. So you got run for the hills. So once you've done that there, and you see you've got it there, you can minimize all of this here and now you can start opening up your Minecraft folder um, you won't need to change any anything so I'll just show you what I mean you won't need to change any of your profiles or that just go ahead and click play you can be on whatever profile you want uh, alright so once you log on you should be able to go to single player is larger than this Scroll all the way to your bottom, all to the bottom, and here we go. Run for the hills. And just to show you how it works, here we are. So I'll do a little bit of here. I'm not the best parkour person, as you can just see, and but you can do all different ones. I'm gonna say I made that. So yeah, you can download as many maps as you want. Just make sure you've got enough storage. I flew that time, so yeah. And once, so you got like thousands and thousands of maps to choose from. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. So subscribe if you got any questions or any little mini games that you like me to try out. Make sure to put that in the comments below, and make sure to slap that like button. Uh, I appreciate all your support at you have been giving. So yeah. Uh anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is Mindtastic and goodbye.